And so I, I tell everybody, I'm trying to take everything out like an undisturbed Easter egg because the capsule, the patient's scar that they create around the implant is what I've biopsied thousands of time and that's where the biofilm lies. So it's inside that capsular surface up against the implant. Hmm. It's not the implant shell or capsule, it's the actual scar tissue. So I want all that to come out because I wouldn't want to leave an infected scar capsule in. So if someone takes out an implant under local anesthesia in their office, I think based on our discussion, do you think the biofilm is gone or do you think the biofilm can still be in the patient? It's if you take out- Just the implant. Yeah, I would assume that it's likely that there's still some degree of contamination. Right, so I get patients all the time from all over the country sending me messages that they still have symptoms Hmm. and all they had was implant removal because they said, here are the, the standard things. The implant capsule was too thin to remove. The implant capsule was too adherent to the chest wall, um, and they felt it was too dangerous. The um, They didn't see anything wrong. All right, all right. So for everybody listening, you can't see any of the things I'm talking about. These are all basic forensic analyses done using uh, techniques that look for DNA fragments that you can't see. So you can't ever... <laughs> tell a family member or a patient that you didn't see anything. Like I, I will always tell folks like, we can't see the bacteria, we're gonna send it off, we're gonna get it tested for, and then we're gonna make sure that the pathologist looks at everything because breast cancer is still the most prevalent cancer you're gonna find, which in the past six months, we've had four patients with breast cancer. And it's all deep lying breast cancer that you would not have picked up otherwise, because it was early stage and they wouldn't have known about it.